Lee Yong Suk dari Korea akan berhadapan dengan Susi Susanti dari Indonesia. Wasit Lee Duan Chek dari China dibantu Sebastian Nancy Lynch dari Kanada. Ladies and gentlemen, after two matches, the score of Korea against Indonesia is two love for Korea. The third match, ladies single between Lee Yang Suk of Korea against Susi Susanti of Indonesia. Empire Lee Duan Cheng of China, assisted by Nancy Lynch as service judge of Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, the third match is ladies singers of the final Sudiman Cup. On my right, Korea is represented by Yang Yong Suk Lee. On my left is Indonesia, represented by Susi Susanti. Ready? Lago play. between two rising stars in ladies singles badminton Lee Yong Suk on the soup screen up against Susie Susanti And this will be a tie that badminton neutrals will be watching closely. Two girls with vast potential. So it's over. Love one.
going by the last encounter just two days ago when Susie and Yongsuk both met in the preliminary rounds. We are in for a thrilling encounter with Susie Susanti defeating Yongsuk then by a very close margin 11 7 and 12 11. And it's Yongsuk who's trailing by two points. Yongsuk trying to disguise her return, not quite successfully. Well, Lee Young Suk there, evening, getting the score even at 4 all. Susan, I think this is going to be a very close match because I think both girls are quite well matched. They're both very athletic, as you can see. Well, not only are the two girls well matched, the bearing of this match tonight is of great importance if Suzy can beat Yong Suk then she will pull back a tie for her country to bring things to 1-2 but if this girl Lee Yong Suk triumphs then she would have wrapped things up and the Sudirman Cup will go to South Korea So it's the Indonesian girl who trails by a point, Suzy Susanti. And things are nicely tied up again at five points all. So quick to capitalize on that off balance position of Susie Susanti and sending the shuttle to her right. It's 5 all.
Well, just a little word to tell you how close these two girls are. In the forthcoming individual championships next week, Susie Sosanti is just seated one place behind Leung Suk, who is seated number three, and Susie Sosanti number four. Well, if the Chinese are looking anxiously, well, don't blame them. If their domination in ladies' singles badminton is threatened, then look no further. I think the threat is going to come from either of these girls. There's one, Li Yong Suk, and her opponent, Suzy Susanti. Yes, a victory today would certainly boost your chances in next week's individual tournament. Six, five. So little separates the two girls. Points have not been allowed to go beyond two. It's always one point either way. Seven, five. And it's Yong Suk. Edges slightly ahead now, Well, Susie Susanti plays with a very relaxed style. She truly is a joy to watch her in action. Lee Young Suk, I believe, has a slight height advantage over Susie. But uh, I think this is not a major advantage because Susie is very quick on her feet. A death touch from Sylvie Susanti and Huang Ha Yong tried to send a shuttle over the net, not quite managing it. It's seven points all. Well, that's a good time to take a little break because uh, for the South Korean girl, that's an opportunity to break the rhythm of Susie. Susie coming back from 5-7 down to edge ahead now at 8-7. And that round could be a very important point for Susie Susanti. Well, Susie's got a big responsibility because Indonesia's hopes for winning rest on her shoulders. Marvellous exhibition of strokes then from the two young girls. A chance again to see those shots. 
What a nice stretch by Susie. Well, Lee Young Suk certainly looks very dispirited there because she just gave away the service. What a time to make a mistake like that one. And Lee Yong Suk must certainly be absolutely displeased with herself. Now displaying great courage and coming back to regain the service. And in the process claiming a point. And in succession, her racket getting in the way. And the next best thing to do is to change the shuttle. Well, I must say it must have been a momentary lapse of concentration. Well, Susan, I've never watched a closer women's final as this because both girls are playing to their very best. And it could even come closer if Yongsook manages to get this next point. Yes. My word, what a good point that was. Set for two. Set for two. So Susie will want to take a little breather before she comes back with the very important mission. So with Jung Sook to serve. Well, unfortunate that the first game had to end that way. 
Susie Susanti looking rather casual in the last two points. Perhaps there was a reason for it, Dennis. What do you think? Well, I think she never expected Leung Suk to have the comeback that she she expected because uh, Susie had the control early early on, and uh, she never expected Leung Suk to come back and uh, equalize. And her task is made all the much harder now if she wants to keep her country's interest in the competition. She's got to win the second game and then there's the rubber also. Which is a shame because she was playing very well in the first set. I think the pressure is tremendous on her because not only has she to win this one but she also has her country's aspirations on her shoulders <laughs> well she can't afford to make errors like that because Leung Suk has now jumped to a two point lead in this second game First mistake by Yong Suk in the second game. wide array of strokes displayed by the two young girls. Yes, both players have a, a fluidity on court. They've managed to be able to retrieve the shuttle very well. Movement on court, I must say, is extremely good. Another error from Susie Susanti has yet to secure her first point in the second game. <laughs> Yong Suk didn't quite manage to read that return from Susie correctly. It's left four and the service back to Susie. One, four. An error of judgment there gives Susie her first points.
Well, Jung Suk Bear well, displays a lot of aggression on court because she's very determined. You can see in this replay here, extremely. Con she's very, very keen on, on finishing the point. Very powerful smash. Susie only just gets it. Well, Susie has been trying the same trick for the past quite a number of times now, putting the shuttle wide of Yongsook's reach just across the net, but each time she has failed. The Indonesian crowd have had not much to cheer about as yet, so it's really up to Susie now with the motivation behind her to give them something to shout about. At present, she is still trailing. One stop. By three points. I think she's a little over eager to try to finish off the point. Let we see Yong Sook's return out, which gives yeah, Susie back to service, and that was straight down the line, displaying her smashing progress. Well, as this match progresses, we see Lee Yong Sook is certainly playing even better as. The match progresses. This young Indonesian girl is expressionless on court. So it's really difficult to tell if she is disturbed by a call, if she is gearing herself up. Two five. This may well signal the return of Susie. So not quite yet. Not with that kind of service. Well, these two players are really feeling the effects of the heat. It constantly asked for timeout.
It's just two points separating both players. And Lee Young Suk proving what a hard hitter she is. 6-3 down straight to court. And she's five points away from clinching this match. And luck favoring Susie on that occasion. Sook able to vary her game well, coming down with that smash, as if she knows that Susie wasn't expecting it. An easy kill there for Susie. Again, two points separating both players. And the home crowd beginning to cheer Susie on. Tied at six all with Susie to serve. Well, that point was an important morale booster for Yong Sok. And it also gives us a good indication of the potential of these two girls. Displaying a wide variety of strokes. And Yong Sok was very happy to be able to clinch that as she edges ahead again. 7-6. Well, the young silk edging ahead slightly.
Well, the shuttlecock just dropping exactly on the line. The line judge was there to look at it. Quick thinking on the part of Yong Suk and a very fine variation. Just to see these right and then to her left. Tiredness perhaps creeping in. And Susie helping Jungsuk's cause a little further now towards that finishing line, which is just two points away. And every point that Jungsuk gets, she is, is a very glad. Because it also means that two, Korea is just two points away from clinching the Sudirman Cup. And now they are one point away. Well, South Korea will certainly be having a unassailable three-game lead. And it all depends on how Yongsuk fares in this point. I could see that Yong Suk was full of energy there. Yes, she can sense victory, but uh, I think she was over trying the last rally there. Susie must be wondering what she has to do to salvage a few points. Yong Suk running all over the court and finally overhitting the shuttle. the local crowd doing everything they can to error of judgment there by Suzy so once again the young Suk is in the driver's seat Susie and Indonesia having a chance again. Well, the gamble by Yung Sook certainly paid off. Our service has changed several times already between the two girls. And Susie Susanti bracing herself for one final assault. She knows that she must save this spot. Does it?
Well, I'm, I must say both players must certainly be feeling the jitters at the moment because the pressure is tremendous. And on the young shoulders lie the hopes of the respective countries, though for different reasons. For Susie, it's to prevent the country from losing 3-0. And for Yong Sok, it's helping the country to the first ever Sudirman Cup title. playing their hearts out with Susie Susanti prevailing in that point and the crowds are going wild. Absolutely magnificent comeback by this young Indonesian girl. You look at how she pinched that all important point. And in the end, Yong Sok had too much to do. Well, Yong Sok must be wondering what she has to do because she not only has to beat Suzy, but she has to contend with the home crowd. A round of applause goes out for Susie. Well, that shot literally floored her. Crowds are going wild because Susie Susanti is playing her heart out. Liam Sook certainly felt like she was in the driver's seat because she had Susie running all over the court, but look at that shot. Well, the efforts of these players will certainly make the Sudirman Cup a memorable event to remember because this is extremely close. And the crowd solidly behind Silzi Susanti now. What a ding dong of a battle. Susie making it look so casual. Oh, 
And so Suji Sasanti turned the tables on Lee Young Sook. With the, the identical score, but Young Sook won in the first game 12 10. It's Suzy's turn for glory now, earning the accolade of her fellow countrymen for the sterling fight back by Suzy Sasanti. And a great entertainment that we have here between these two young girls. More to come in the rubber game. Yes, the five minutes break which the girls will be having will certainly have many people thinking of what the next game will be like. Because my word, Susan, never have I seen such a more exciting match as, I'm, as we are all watching tonight. Well, we'll too will take a breather for the next few minutes and we'll come back with the rubber game between Suzy Sasanti and Lee Yong Suk. Welcome back to the third and final game of the lady singles of the Sudirman Cup. Serving was Suzy Suzanti. And Suzy Suzanti has taken the first point. Well, Susan, earlier on, we never expected Suzy Susanti to raise the level of a game because she was really trailing far behind. And right now she's playing with supreme confidence. Well, I really wonder if fitness does come into account here because Lee Yong Sook is visibly the more tired of the two players, but as Suzy Susanti looks uh, very much fresher yes, even I now. Yes, I agree with you because not only is Suzy playing on her home territory, but uh, she certainly will be accustomed to the heat and humidity. So that's the young Korean girl who has the task of closing the gap now in the opening stages of the rubber game. 10-12, Suzy lost the first game and then she came back to win the second by 12-10. Uh. We must remember also that Lee Yong Suk was uh, taken to three games in the semi-final against China when she lost to Han Ai Ping. Whereas Suzy had a very comfortable win over Peniel Nedegaard of Denmark in her semi-final. Well, even though both players may appear tired, they're certainly playing on adrenaline right now.
I wonder if that's the surest sign of tiredness creeping into Lee Yong Sook's play. That's been a hallmark of Suzy Susanti's drop shots. Deft and certainly with very little pace for her opponent to return it. Well, Lee Yung Suk seems to have her game plan totally out of synchronization because Suzy has jumped to a very quick lead and the players are changing sides now. And look at the crowd. The pressure is absolutely great, especially on this young lady, Lee Yong Sook, and her way she gave away the last point certainly illustrates the tension that she must be feeling. Well, as I said earlier, and I must say it again now, her expressions give away nothing. Just 19 years old, Susie Susanti, remember, she was the runner-up in the All England Championships this year. Yes, I, she has had the match exposure in playing such a prestigious tournament, and certainly that will be a telling factor today because She's playing her heart out. And Lee Young Sook's game has gone to pieces. Seven points, and that is a lot. Yes, particularly when in a women's tournament, you only play 11 points. Oh, she just feels utterly disgusted with herself. And I must tell you that playing with the home crowd advantage is certainly a very, very difficult proposition. Well, it looks like Suzy is going to romp home a very comfortable winner in this rubber game. Just one point away now from bringing her country's interest in the Sudirman Cup back. And what a contrast it has been to the previous two matches. And Lee Yong Sook just gave gave away her final point. What a dramatic end then. Yes, we, we saw two very, very closely fought matches and uh, in the in the final rubber, Lee Yong Sook's game just fell apart. Well, Indonesia will certainly cheer. Suzy Susanti tomorrow as the heroine. Well, finally we see a smile on the face of this young girl. Her country's brightest prospect in years in the women's singles badminton. And she certainly has stamped her mark and her superiority now as we watch now the final points and we see Lee Yong-suk again in pieces. Just literally giving...